Hi everyone, it's Annalisa. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're an old friend and uh, I haven't been present online here for quite a while, um, I have been doing my own work, really. Um, going through some personal personal changes and uh, and also with the, the the world at large as we as we go through these um, transformative times but I am I'm back and I'm now intending to be present online and doing more readings for you every week so watch this space there'll be more to come today's reading is based on this card that came out when I asked what was needed it's called the vision this is from the Crystal Mandala set by Alana Fairchild. It's my favourite oracle deck. Very, very powerful. And the vision is all about having perspective and having purpose. And so the reading today is to help you gain insight into what to focus on right now. And I feel this is really, um, really important and very topical. I, uh, I was in a class this morning, a movement class, and one of the... Um, one of the comments from one of the participants at the end was that her realisation that the one thing she was really clear about was the fact that she was really, really confused, <laughs> really confused with so much information right now. I mean, we are going through these challenges and these um, uh, these new ways of, of seeing and understanding and receiving in the world and we're also in the, the Gemini energy as I record this video, which is also about information and uh, and taking in and sharing information, so we're really heavy on um, on the brain at the moment and um, multiple layers of what's going on. And so this reading is really intended to help you figure out what is the priority for you at the moment and to give you some guidance within that. So um, I hope you're well wherever you are in the world, and I hope that you are. Um, finding your way through through the experience of being human right now and focusing on the um, uplifting and positive benefits of being here and being in this time, finding the gratitude for being in this uh, transformation. So the piles for you to choose from. I have four piles. If you haven't done a pick a card before, then this is um, for you to tune in to whichever um, pile of cards you're drawn to. This can come just quite spontaneously. Um, if you just allow yourself to still and quiet your mind and allow the, the visual or the name or whatever it is just to, to kind of drift into your consciousness without forcing it. If, the, if you start the reading and it doesn't feel relevant, then you can come back and choose again. The, um, the cards, the decks for you to choose from. So number one, pile number one, we've got the oil Roman chamomile. And for number two, it's patchouli. For number three, we have lemon. And for number four, we have lavender. So see which one you're drawn to and um, we'll go to that card. Before I start the reading I'm now going to say a few prayers. You can stay and listen to the prayers if you want to. Otherwise you can go to the, if you look below in the uh, description you'll see the timestamps and you can just go straight to the time of, of your pile. Okay, um, I feel it's really important to do extra prayers and protections right now um, with so much moving in the world. So Divine Sophia, Eternal Beloved. Bless this space with your immaculate grace. Purify my energetic field and those in my audience. Clear our obstacles, embrace our lessons, and shower us with eternal love and light. Allow me to be an easy open conduit of your expanse, and let me deliver clear, helpful information. Let me trust in sharing your pure heart and divine voice. Make me a channel of your peace. Create a balanced energetic flow and exchange and allow me to clearly connect with my guides to receive support and wisdom from my ancestors, my star family, animal and plant realms, elemental and mineral beings, the ascended masters and archangels. Protect and clear this in my space now and always. Amen. 
O oh, great love, the source of all good in my life, give me, as your child, your support, that I may gain in knowledge. I am aware of my connection with you, and in my aspiration for you I have no fears of worldly temptations, for I believe that the fulfilment of my mission is to reunite with you. Please, my God, infuse me with the living powers of the cosmos, that every cell of my body be penetrated, and that my life and health may be brought to it that my spirit be strengthened and that I fulfil the mission for which I have come to earth. Amen. That's an ancient Christian prayer. And another one to protect the space. I repeat this three times. God, protect me with your white light and surround me with your diamond wall. And the spirit of God, beloved of my soul, will do everything for me, without fear and without darkness. Without fear, in boundless love, amen. God, protect me with your white light and surround me with your diamond wall. And the spirit of God, beloved of my soul, will do everything for me. Without fear and without darkness. Without fear, in boundless love, amen. God, protect me with your white light and surround me with your diamond wall. And the spirit of God, beloved of my soul, will do everything for me. Without fear and without darkness. Without fear. In boundless love, amen. Ooh, okay. Let's space here for the first group. Okay. Group number one, Roman chamomile, and people know about chamomile as a tea to drink it, and you know, my understanding was always it was about calming, calming down, and it's true. The deeper purpose of, of Roman chamomile is about spiritual purpose. So it really supports anyone in discovering and living their, their life purpose. So it helps you find meaning, you know, regardless of what you're doing, it helps you find meaning and to be able to live from the center of your being and to have this uh, sense of power and purpose that's it's indescribable when you find that that real motivation and push for, for what you really want and you go into this kind of tunnel of, of pursuing that so it helps you find that and Mm, it's, it's softening, you know, with that, it's very softening, so it's not about the, the ego drive, it's really about the soul drive, and so it gives this kind of quiet confidence. And it also, it helps um, let go of things that don't have meaning in your life, so it helps you create this discernment, and it helps you to feel connected as well, with your, your guides and um any spiritual support that you receive. So it, it really, it, it calms your insecurities and helps you find what you really love and helps you pursue that, have the confidence to pursue that. So um, this is a very pure, powerful oil. The doTERRA oil is very strong. Um, you can find any any brand is going to help even the tea or the, the flowers themselves you can brew your own tea if you can pick the flowers which may may well be in bloom right now and let's see what your cards are for the advice where to focus so we have as the main message the sacred ecosystem ascended master kuthumi and moss agate then we also have magical blessings Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you will find will bring the insight you seek. And then we have grace and knowledge. Okay, a book again. We have from the Romance Angels, Deception. Someone is wearing a, a false self-mask in this relationship. And new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay.
So there's definitely this sense of you being connected to the wider society at the moment and having information to share. This is the main the main message for you. It, it's it's about developing this um, or focusing on the environment around you, so and the world at large. You you may right now be um, really being called on by spirit to to support others. So you may be drawing people to you. People may be being attracted to you or drawn to you because they need your support at this time and you you really belong there's a sense of belonging in community and you may have felt isolated from community in the past or not felt a connection but this is really spirit saying that you really are essential to the wider wider society you may feel like you may feel lonely you may feel separate but that you are really an integral part of community Yeah, and you're going to learn more. The more you connect with the world, the more you connect with others around you. I think this is, you know, this is part of this information. You're going to be receiving this information in, in, in your purpose. Because this is, again, this is what we're here for, right? The purpose. The purpose and the society. So right now, the main focus is what, what is your purpose for society right now? And there may be particular studying that you're involved in or that you could do that's going to help you support that. And I love the fact that the grace card came up as well because I feel like this is part of your purpose is really this sense of um, um, a, a kind of um, softness, this beauty, this elegance there's a sense of elegance with which you can operate or do operate within the world and within society that's going to be very very healing right now and very pure and very light you may you may not feel like this right you may you may feel kind of um, you're supposed to be this like pure, pure and bright, but that you have some faults or you have some, you know, you're not perfect human. But this is um, really part of your gift and part of the message is that um, you, we don't even realize how our faults are beneficial. So there's the story of the cracked pot where. Um, People were using pots to bring um, water to um, a house and uh, one of the pots was cracked and um, I, can't, I can't quite remember the story properly but basically the, the cracked pot was leaking water as it was going to and from the house and all along the path where it was cracked, where it had been uh, going over, there were flowers were growing. So it's this, this metaphor that um, your, your faults and your um, perceived uh, mistakes or failures or um, challenges can be really nourishing where you, you don't see, you don't necessarily know how those help and support other people. So it's kind of embracing, embracing those. So looking to your, your, your purpose, um, and the assistance, yeah, the and that's kind of with the chamomile as well. You're definitely really supported by spirit right now. There's um, divine beings that are really helping you in this. Like they they want to encourage you, encourage you to um, step into this this role. And, you know, if you're really struggling at the moment with knowing where you fit in or who to connect with, because that's also what's going on right now is this kind of, um, these unmasking. So we've got the, de like the deception card here as well, the false masks. 
and this could be you wearing a mask or other people wearing a mask and um, I feel like that um, there's some kind of um, this kind of insight that's going on that's going to allow you to to reveal or unmask either yourself or others. And this may be, you know, that the ecosystem can also be, can be about being with those other people, but also your location within the earth um, in terms of your um, physical body and your physical being and connecting with that. So where and what is going to be supportive of you um, and of your purpose. So, um, you know, for some people it's things like um, the desire to move into um, into the countryside or into nature to be more, more peaceful at one in that environment. So it's being aware of the kind of environment that really suits you as well and the communities that really suit and benefit you. And... Um, developing that awareness of what supports you in order to support others as well. Some of you may be looking to move into community, creating communities, creating new communities. This can be part of your purpose. Um, in which case there's, there's this kind of yeah, need for inf understanding and information. In terms of love, um, a new person, so new, you may have met someone or connected with someone recently, but you need to look really deeply into this because there is something that you're not seeing about that person or about yourself. There, there's some deeper layers going on there that need to be understood. And I feel like the divine is, is trying to whisper in your ear and give you messages about this. To be fully aware around you and behind you of what's going on. I'm going to pull a few tarot cards. So specific action you can take right now. Let's get three cards. What action can group number one take, please? We have Justice and the Ten of Cups, and I get one more card. The Queen of Swords, okay. Um, justice is about bringing in this sense of um, balance and um, truth. I mean, just, justice is it's so appropriate for, you know, our, our world right now with the ecosystem and with all the um the upheaval around um the systems that we operate in whether it is the um uh the legal systems the political systems the cultural systems justice is is on the card it's, it's up right justice is up for everyone so you're really being asked to in yourself own that sense of justice that sense of truth and balance of clarity, like really clear your aura, have a very strong sense of um, morality and ethics. It can be your own, you know, we, we each have our own slightly um, personal set of, of morals. There's a collective sense and then there's a personal sense. So really owning um, both of those. This could be where the study comes in as your understanding of what what ethics is and how to operate within that. A ten of Cups, your happiness, making sure you're choosing your happiness, choosing um, choosing the emotional fulfillment, what feels good. And with this card, you know, I always feel like with this card, she she's in this, the Ten of Cups energy is such joyful, happy energy. Normally there's a couple depicted in this card, 
and it, instead it's this woman who's kind of blue and looks a bit miserable and and I feel like that's to do with this kind of deception is this um being honest with yourself about what what your happiness is your truth is and creating balance because we also have the queen of swords who is someone who speaks her truth and you can see she's um she's got the lovers this is the lovers card in the background and she's got this kind of slightly knowing cool knowing look the queen of swords is cool she's unemotional detached from emotion and it's about um being um and justice as well is detached from emotion so it it's this it's this whole balance you've got going on here with like the the ultimate happiness and fulfillment balanced with the cool justice and clarity we've got the deception card here we've got three people here and we've got three people here as well so it may be about being really clear about any third party situations you're involved in and having a sense of justice and clarity within that and um, yeah, this integration, you know, it's really about this integration and harmony between polarities. It's, it's what we're moving into, right? This is what the, um, the idea of the 5D is about, is about this integration out of polarity and in, into full, full harmony, unity, um, acceptance of the all, seeing the all, knowing the all. Okay. Um, I feel like I want to pick one more card. Let me grab another deck. This is the Rebecca Campbell Work Your Life. I haven't gone through all the different decks I've been using, but it's the, um, the Cosmic Tarot, Fairy Oracle, the Crystal Mandala set, the um, Romance Angels, and this is an angel deck, I can't remember the name of it as well. And this is Work Your Light. So let's get one last card, please, for group number one. Align your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? Yeah, this is the same, right, with this Justice card and the Deception card. It's about really being honest with yourself and your environment about what you need to remove, balance, restore, where you need to speak or cut your truth. Yeah, it's um, this is the sense, okay? Re realigning, coming into authenticity, integrity, within particularly within community and within your purpose as well. Okay, thank you group number one. I hope that reading helped. just realised I've had this a bit high. I can't really see the cards, but I hope that you, you got the information anyway. Sending so much love. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Okay, group number two, thank you for joining in, uh, patchouli. Patchouli is the oil of physicality, it's about the body and becoming really present and solid in your body, in your experience of being a, a sweaty, blood-filled, eating, secreting human, like this real sense of real um, being on earth. And it, it's really, this is really about grounding, 
Um, so it may be if you need this medicine, it may be because you have been overly in the spiritual realms, overly in the mind thinking, um, in the emotional body. And it's really about bringing you back down and coming into this real um, stable reality in your physicality so this is a really good oil to use in combination with doing exercise so if you're doing uh, yoga or tai chi or something then it, it helps you really come into the body and to feel um feel more peaceful and calm in the body as well if you felt kind of anxious or you know jittery um kind of uh twitchy sped up this is going to help you slow down and and release um, that kind of fight or flight mode, like really come come down to some stillness in the body and in the earth. And it really helps you develop the appreciation for the body as well. You know, all, all the amazing things that it does for us. And uh, if you have difficulty with body image, this is going to help as well. It gives you confidence in your body helps you um help find that confidence so that you feel more in, in grace and in poise and strength and also to have fun you know to have fun and play with your body like the body is here to engage and um excite and and enjoy so it's it's kind of finding this peace in the physical physical body. Let's see what your cards are. So where to focus? We have number 23, Ascended Master Jesus and Rose Sophia, Meaningful Sacrifice. Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation, step one. Connections. Guidance. Got the stars there again. And the Romance Angel cards for you are Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay. So let me just tune in to this. Okay. So it feels like there may be um, there may be something you are letting go of or not even letting go of it feels like something has, has left you right now with both the meaningful sacrifice and the release your ex I feel like um, and the, the meaningful sacrifice this is the main card main energy coming in for your your focus right now. So it's becoming aware of this need, or the benefit of having something, not having something that you want. That's what this card is about. It's about, about, um, there is a greater purpose or a greater need or something else at the moment. So you're being asked to let something go because it's going to create the opportunity for something new. So <laughs> you may be really um, feeling the pain right now um, of having um, of having something missing in your life. So the, it, this the message is not that. This pain can be resolved necessarily, but just to have faith that it's not there for a reason right now. And so what you do want 
um, or what, what is needed for you is going to come in. Okay, so it's it can be about this alignment with, you, you may have had an idea in terms of the vision of what you thought you want, what you decided you wanted, and um, and it's like life is saying actually no, that you can't have that. And it's just it's just confirmation that it's okay to let that go because something else is coming in. I think um, it, it can be easy to be distracted, right, by what we think we want in life, and and um, and I feel like this is for you to tune into a higher a higher understanding of of what your life is about or what you want. So there is something. Um, something more, something beyond maybe where your focus has been, there is a, maybe a higher purpose or a higher vision, a higher understanding. And so you're being guided to connect to that, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, with the connections. Um, asking to be guided with, with your relationships and with your connections as to what is, um, what is really going to serve you in this moment right now and then calling that in with the manifestation so being really clear about um, how you can be supported in this moment and maybe reevaluating your dreams reevaluating what you thought you wanted and and looking into why why did you want that or what about it was um, was desired and then um, learning taking the time to learn from that, which is the, the healing family issues as you know about this kind of generational wounds and ancestral wounds that we bring down and um, and that we need to work through. And so there may be something here for you that is um, it's, it's, I feel like relationship there is this relationship theme. It might be really good for you to go out at night and, and to really connect with the stars. So um, if you're able to, wherever you are, is to, to go out and, and stargaze and um, connect with the light from the planets and the moon and the, uh, the stars you can see and, and meditate, tune into um, the energy or what you, what you receive from them and, and asking for guidance as well from maybe star being, star family. Um, so extraterrestrials <laughs> as i said that but da ding okay extraterrestrial energy wants to connect with you right now this is very high and pure energy you know it's um when i connect with the star star beings it's when i'm in my highest vibration you know the other other guides and other realms i connect to more easily um, in in more states, but the the star beings, I I I'm in a very pure vibration when I can, to connect with them, and so this sacrifice as well can be about you really evolving your energy up to uh, um, higher octave, and this allows you to connect with the star beings and asking them for support in in your manifestation and in what you want to create. Allow yourself to dream again. And I feel with this honeymoon, um, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. It's like um, you may meet someone new or have someone who you can just enjoy spending time with in a, a kind of um, playful and fun way and kind of escape from the world or, or give yourself that um, time or that um, the space to escape really I think uh, I think when things can be very intense and stressful on a personal level it's okay to give yourself permission to remove yourself from the world I'm even getting things like 
if, if this isn't with someone else, it can just be on your own to give yourself time to escape into another world, you know, into a book, into films, into music, into art, whatever you really enjoy. Give yourself um, permission to um, go into and play with that space. feel like water is healing for you right now, being in the water or near the water, near the sea, it's really good. Let's get some uh, more guidance from the tarot action you can take right now. <clears throat> Two of Cups. Uh, we have the King of Wands and the King of Swords and the world all flew out at the same time. Okay, yeah, rela relationships. Two of Cups. You may be making decisions about love. We've got two, two men here. Um, potentially, potentially men. I mean, these characters, they can be male or female, but they can represent... Um, uh, but they represent this um, quite strong energy, quite forthright with the king energy. The king of wands, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo, and the king of swords is Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. So you may be, um, yeah, really bringing something together. With the world, the world is about completion and about cycles. And we have, yeah, it's interesting, we have both released your ex and honeymoon. So it may be really about letting go someone from the past and embracing someone new. It can be about making that decision, about um, allowing yourself to choose what you really want, allowing yourself to dream and understand that letting something go is, is for a reason and for a purpose. And it's okay to do that. And I feel like um, if you're if you want to take action, because the kings are very much about leadership, leadership and um, taking control of a situation, um, leading with um, action, and this is with passion and with desire, with clarity and with truth, being very um direct and also with um oomph with gusto with passion and two of cups is about connecting with another but for me this can be about yourself as well for some of you this might be about this um, union with yourself, connection with yourself, but it is about this joining. Um, it's really romantic. I mean, you, you may have new love because these are very romantic cards. With the meaningful sacrifice, I really feel like you have to let something go and it may be tricky. You're doing both at the same time, both letting go and allowing in. Okay, one last card for you. Number two, okay. Uh, two cards came out. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? And fill up your well. Retreat, rest and refuel. <laughs> Again, it's this like dual, this dual experience. You need your own space, your time to rest and also not to be afraid to say what you need and say what you want. I mean, this may be about saying, do you know, actually, I need a break. Actually, I need this to end. I need to let something go. I can feel this, um, mm, this sense of, um, yeah, needing to, yeah, needing to be really in this, in this physical, physical experience, present in the moment, present in your body giving yourself the time to um, 
to really be be nourished needing to nourish yourself embracing whatever connection or this could be family or friends but allowing yourself to be be nourished by others who are around you because there may be something big that you're releasing letting go of okay all right group number two i hope that helped um please give me a like subscribe to my channel you can book me for private readings the details are below and I look forward to speaking to you another time. Hi, group number three lemon so lemon lemon is the oil of um focus it's about bringing in concentration it supports the mind and it's um you know a lot of oils are very emotional this one is really about the brain and the mental field and it's lemon has this very crisp smell and so it helps cut through things and gives you that ability to see clearly and to be um, really present you know one thing at a time very clear very direct uh, it's, it's really good if you're feeling confused it's very appropriate um, and if you're tired you know if you're mentally tired from studying working thinking it's going to help refresh you as well it's really good um, it's really good for children you know uh, who are studying a lot or when they're at school lemon really helps that, that kind of um yeah study or or uh, also learning disability helps support support the mind in um in learning and in confidence in learning mm, yeah it's quite fresh you know it's a fresh it's playful it, it lifts you out of a kind of depression you know it really inspires um inspires energy awake being alert awake and and being alive so really nice oil lemon and of course you can use the the fruit as well let's see what your cards are we have archangel anial and pink calcite acceptance precious time let me read, read what's underneath. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. Light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Wait for winter. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes, as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. We have Archangel Uriel, Passion, Love Yourself First, Your Self-Respect Makes You More Romantically Attractive, and True Love, This Is The Romance of a lifetime okay mm. acceptance <laughs> it's like um you know there's some cards that i always groan when i pick them up the deck like uh, patience it's like oh patience i don't want to be patient acceptance it feels a little bit like just accept you know Accepting the situation can be very frustration, frustrating when, uh, you know, we want to create things or have things a certain way. Uh, this is, I mean, acceptance is about being able to, if you do accept a situation or a circumstance, then you can find a way through it. If you're in resistance, 
to what's going on in your life or a dynamic or whatever it is if you're resisting it then you you can't transform it or change it and so actually you know when I I feel into this I do feel like uh this is empowering you to be able to transform something that if you allow yourself to fully feel what is going on for you right now then you will find a way to transform it you um you'll see the truth when you accept it you'll see the truth and you can grow through it so it's about being really present with what is no matter how challenging and I think when you accept it there's going to be this sense of relief and uh, and then the newness can come in there's going to be this ability to find a, a natural and um, joyful or playful potential within the situation because it, resistance can feel like protecting yourself looking after yourself um, but it keeps you in a stuck energy and when you just go into that, um, yeah, that's, that's deep. Um, yeah, acceptance is, uh, it's not about giving up. It's more about a kind of graceful surrender. Just allowing an experience to come to you or a feeling to come to you. Or understanding. And when you go deeper into that, there'll be more to learn from within it. Yeah, I, because hmm, sometimes we want to fight, right? We want to fight for what we want. Um, but with you've got two cards here that are about time. Wait for winter and precious time. And so there is this... Um, there might be these kind of conflicting ideas in you that you need to fight for what you want, but also the idea of if you accept things and allow that um, they will come in their own time and at the right time. And yeah, and being if you're you know you're in a situation that feels very challenging that feels dark or heavy there is just the reminder to bring in the light to keep bringing in the light no matter where you are what situation you're in keep focusing on the light and allowing 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 um the the vibrations from from the stars and from the heaven and from your guides to really come in and purify and heal the situation so help you see through it and see through what needs to be done, what needs to happen. Yeah, I think with this, um, with these kind of time, it's like, um, I think when you go into this acceptance, you're going to be able to use your time more effectively because when you're in that resistance energy, um, that conflict energy, it's like, uh, it can take this energy away from you, you know, it's draining, it's tiring. So when you can be, be present and allow, um, allow things in, then you can release it, release the flow, and then you release others as well. Angel Uriel is about wisdom, insight, understanding, and I feel that's what will come in. And interestingly, the passion card has come up as well. We have got true love and love yourself first. So this, this can be that typical situation where you need to do the, 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 the self-healing first. So you may find you're very passionate about something you've got this understanding this realization for some of you there may be this, this awakening this realization about passion this is what you're going to awaken to when you go into acceptance you're going to realize 
your real desire, your true desire, your what you really want. Um, it can be about a love relationship, about a partner. You might really realise who your true love is or, or what it is that you truly love. There's, there is, you know, we, we don't have to be perfect in order to receive love, but there is a sense of, in this case, of just needing some time to um, really give yourself some respect and really um, honour um, honor who you are and, and be clear about that and stand in that. And then it's going to attract in what you want. Or who you want. Mm. Yeah, I feel like um. Yeah, but this this clarity. So this clarity that you need is going to come through the surrender. You'll realize um what's important, what what you want. Oh, um, and um, I just burnt myself in the flame. <laughs> The passion, okay, um, this illumination can come in, and then you can you can be constructive and you can build what you want up. Let's uh, just get a few tarot to give you some guidance as to some action you can take right now. So, what is the action for group number three, please? We have. The Magician, Six of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah, this is quite clear. The Magician, I, I feel like for a lot of you there's going to be maybe a situation, romantic situation, where you haven't got what you want, basically. Or you're needing to accept something else in the situation or something else is going on. What you need to do, first of all, as the magician, is gather your energy, gather your power, your strength, and stand in that place of pure manifestation, pure creation, um, owning all your skills, your ability to work with physicality, with matter, with action, your ability to manage and purify your emotion and use them in a healthy way and be guided by them in a healthy way, your ability to um, share and receive information clearly and truthfully and your ability to engage your passion and your desire and your dreams bringing all these things into alignment the magician is not about taking action it's about um, or it's about internal action or action with the energetic realm, realms with the um, uh, immaterial first owning your ability to do that knowing that you have all the skills but first the intention and and working with them um, yeah the the process and concept of manifestation we have the six of swords then this is about being stuck between the past and the future particularly mentally so your mind might need some kind of healing some kind of um re reworking realigning your it's like your body wants to move to the future, but your mind is stuck in the past. So it's about healing that space um, and allowing yourself the uh, experience to transition. I think that's what the acceptance card is. It's about um, this surrender acceptance is going to help you shift your mind so that you can let go of the past and move forward. And then we have the Nine of Wands, which is about the the warrior, the wounded warrior who who doesn't give up, who fights again, who has beaten the inner beast, the inner um, ego, and about setting that behind you. Like this is in the past. I feel like this is like this past. Like um, it's not gone. You know that passion, that fire, that lion energy is still there. But it's about not um, not being ruled by it. This like this links to the strength card for me, you know, with the the woman who's taming the beast, and it is this um, ability to let go of that. We've got the snake again here, 
Um, so it is like the snake is about healing, the shedding, the skin, being a new, um, a new being, a new person, and then and then this is about taking action and passion and fighting for what you want. So I feel like there's a process here. It's about regathering your mind, your strength, working with the energy field and the concepts like uh, you know that anything is possible and to create your own life, that kind of thing. Um, and then to move, be able to shift, heal your mind from the past, and then taking action. Okay, um, let's get an oracle card for you. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So... Mm -hmm. I mean, this this is about the, um, the spirit realm wanting to help you and work with you. Maybe this is why the, the magician is here as well. It's about um, knowing your own truth, your own ability to create the, the dream and, and the life that you want. To trust that you're 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 guided, and maybe even right now you've got an idea of what you want to do or what it is, and trust that information you're receiving is um, is divine. You you are a divine being, and that you have that um, that support and that connection within you. Okay, group number three. Thank you for tuning in. Please give me a, a thumbs up if you like this video and you can subscribe to my channel. You can book private readings with me below using the link to my website. And uh, thank you for being here. I look forward to speaking to you again another time. Sending lots of love to you everywhere in the world. Okay. Number four, lavender. Lavender is, um, you know, I, I always associate it with um, old ladies in the England. It's, you know, old ladies love, love lavender and have lavender pillows and um, little lavender things they put in their sock drawers. But um, I always associated it with relaxation. But when I came to study oils more, I learned it's to do with uh, communication and um, verbal expression. And what it does is it helps you uh, alleviate any insecurities or fears around being seen or being heard. So when you need lavender, it's often because um, you're blocking some part of your, your true self-expression. And... Um, you may be like holding back what's really going on for you, your inner feeling, your um, your true thoughts, and it's like your expression is not fully connected to your heart and to your soul. So the lavender really helps you to release the the tension and the fear of doing that, especially if you have past experiences of being. Um, uh, where you've not felt safe to express yourself. So, um, yeah, any any feelings of feeling like um, unlovable or unimportant or unheard, this is really going to help. Help that is why it's so soothing for people. So, um, yeah, it encourages you know, emotional honesty and um, the ability to speak and to kind of release yourself when you kind of shut your feelings or whatever inside and so it gives you this um, sense of courage and bravery in order to to be able to do that that's really amazing oil let's see what your cards are where should you be focusing right now we've got number 30 ascended master white matthew and danborite original self journey it's time to prepare for a journey it may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Motivation. 
When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Music. Listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. Truth. Archangel Gabriel. From the Romance Angels, we have Let Go of Control Issues allow this situation to unfold naturally and playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay so these connect beautifully to the lavender because there is this sense of expression of um, movement and um, revelation connection to the self uh, yeah it's quite a strong clear theme here. So in terms of um, original self, so this is like the main, the main kind of message coming through. Um, it's like you've, uh, you kind of go through stages in your life where you learn and you um, grow and you, you become more and more radiant and authentic to, to who you really are and the layers of who you think you were kind of start falling away so you you may have gone through a process recently where you're coming out um, and into a, a new being so um, yeah it also like the more you shed these layers it's like the more simple you become this purity this simplicity and and you may feel other people don't necessarily see you or get you or or know that you've changed um, or feel like you feel like you've changed too much but it, it's okay you don't need to worry about those other people it's just about you knowing yourself and being in your own um, own uh, knowing and freeing yourself from the projection of other people and and just being able to live in your own original and radiant, radiant self. So this is really about releasing, um, releasing the, the layers and uh, releasing um, others' opinions or conceptions of, of who you are. You may in the past have felt like you needed to live up to a certain role or expectation or to be a certain way um, but this is now the kind of time where you're you're releasing some of those where you're you're kind of becoming your own person more this is like the original self really being able to hear your own voice so more and more being able to do that and breaking free of of others unapologetically being your truth um and you know this can bring rise to a lot of frustration um, with other people, um, sacred anger. Um, but we have to remember that, you know, other people have their own ideas and fantasies about who we are and what we're about. And, and it's up to us not to choose to have to live up to any of that, but just to be who we want to be. So it's really trusting in you, your, your own knowing of you and your own path and your own choices. Not feeling guilty. Um, if you need to give space for yourself or say no to others. Because you're really claiming who you are and, and your truth. And it's up to others, you know, how, how they want to live and what they choose to see. And I think this is really appropriate at the moment with so much um, being experienced and shed light on that it's important for you to own your own truth and your own knowing through the situation of what um, what is clear and what matters to you. So giving yourself permission to be who you are in your own beautiful and radiant way and knowing that you are worthy 
and the world needs you and it doesn't matter what anyone thinks of you, you know, it's really you owning yourself. So some of you may be on this process at the moment, going through this process and it can still be a bit of a struggle, but just understand that's, that's what it's about and that your divinity is there throughout. So even if different feelings and expressions are coming up through you, just trust that's part of the process and it's not necessarily who you are, but about the experience of, of transformation. So the more you tune in and connect with your own pure and radiant self, the more the kind of clouds will clear and end it or shine through. And then, you know, it's only a matter of time, you kind of, that radiance really shines out and other people can see that and know that. So, um, yeah, you may feel like your voice, something like with your voice at the moment, with your expression, maybe you can't fully express yourself or can't fully express who you are, but um, it's like the truth wants to shine from you and emanate from you, um, can be through your own voice, your own music, your own sound, um, your own expression. And to keep moving, remember this journey, this, I mean, this can be about a physical journey, about actually moving locations or traveling, but it's also this journey of the self and this journey of um, understanding. And it's like you're, you're shifting into a new, a new way of being. There's definitely some action, I feel, you're being asked to take in terms of expression so much about movement, truth, movement and truth, sound, expression, communication, um, with grace and with humility and with love, um, who you really are and what you're really about. You're really being encouraged to share that and share yourself and to do it in this playful way. Let go of the control issues, Not things don't have to be how you think they should be or letting go of the um, expectation but just approaching a situation um, or relationships with a, a sense of um, fun and uh, childlike um, essence playing even with your language playing with your words and this when I get playfulness it's also this uh, allowing yourself to make mistakes allowing yourself to be um, uh, maybe misheard or be a fool or be silly it's like moving out of kind of seriousness and into sincerity you know with the truth it's like communicating with sincerity but also with lightness and with fun let's get some uh, tarot for action for you Okay, we've got the Three of Cups, Temperance, and I get one more, and the Lovers, okay, very beautiful, yeah, there is definitely the sense of um, joyful connection um, and speaking truth with people in particular, because the Three of Cups is about celebration, coming together with people, emotional happiness, emotional fulfillment. Um, and again, it's, the Three of Cups has this energy of playfulness, of lightness, of um, community, of being um, together in um, fun and uh, sweet and joyful ways. Temperance is about this peace, about this balance, about letting this emotion fall. Um, you know, it can be uh, there's been lots of tears or there's been a heavy emotion or a difficult emotion. It's about bringing in the, the warmth and the light and the, the freedom and the, um, um, the sense of, um, of hope. Having the perspective of even if things can feel like difficult or challenging right now, it's bringing in that sense of a brighter future and, uh, and the ability to both be connected to emotion, 
but also grounded, connected to the past, but also really in the present, or connected to the future, but really in the present. Um, it's about integration, temperance is the integration of polarity, and having a perspective of the whole. And the lovers as well can be about choice, it's about connection, it's about um, connecting with those we really care about, and um, being in that passion, being in that, um, yeah, that desire, that emotion, um, yeah, that this is really encouraging you to, I feel, to speak, to express, to communicate from your most playful and light and loving and, and pure place, um, expressing your passion and your understanding, and your hope, then you can really bring in, bring in a transformation and change for yourself and for um, your circumstances when you do that. Let's get an oracle card for you as well. Yes, <laughs> just say yes. So maybe someone is communicating to you as well and you can say yes to them, to playfulness, to fun, to lightness um, and just enjoy that um, experience. Okay, that's it group number four. I hope that was helpful. Please give me a, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can find details below to book a private reading with me and I look forward to connecting with you another time. Lots of love.